Hello everybody, today is May 12th and today's prayer journal title is The Renewal Towards the Summit. And the Bible verse that we're going to read today is 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 9. Let's read it all together. When they had crossed, Elijah said to Elisha, Ask what I shall do for you before I am taken from you. And Elisha said, Please, let there be double portion of your spirit on me. Amen. As we know, many people are concerned about their studies and their futures. Even adults are very worried about the things that they're doing right now with the jobs. Not only they're having hardship with the economical problems, but also all people are suffering mentally and physically. And now with this coronavirus, there's a lot of speculation about how this future will be. It says the flow of the economy will change and many things will change. But how can we uh, prepare ourselves for these disasters and also this future that is, is coming soon? The most important thing is that we need to always have the assurance of our salvation. And also the identity that we possess. How should remnants who have been called as the spiritual summit renew themselves to overcome these adversities? So the most important thing for our remnants is to have renewal and renewal towards the summit. The renewal and great answers of the seven remnants of the Bible. As we know, the seven remnants always had difficulties around them. But this did not stop what was inside them, which is the identity they possess, which was eternal. And also, we know that Joseph turned his family problems at the end to blessings. He did not hate them. He did not uh, detest them. But he knew what God has put in his life. And also, he had this summit time personally. And also, we have a lot of um, remnants that is written in the Bible that they were not affected by the things that they were having in front of them. But they always maintain what they used to do. As Daniel always prayed three times ahead, uh, looking towards Israel, Jerusalem. In other words, he always had this time of the summit. That's why we need to have the mindset and also the time and the priority for and of the summit. More than anything, we need to have what is the definition of spiritual summit. What's the, that, what does that mean? It's defined as the beginning of the spiritual summit. Also, having the mindset of the summit is to not to be deceived by the environment. In other words, you correctly know and also you have assurance of what God is telling you and God has planned for you. In other words, you hold on to God's word. In other words, always 24 hours and also looking at the works of 25 hours and also eternity. So that's why greatest answers are always prepared for you. And also the remnants need to remember that you need to Wait inside the covenant. Don't wait or don't say that after I do this, I will do it. Just begin from now. Because God is ready to give now. Not just, not just to prosperity, not to just have abundance, but He's prepared everything so you can walk this covenant journey. This is the greatest blessings that God has allowed us to have. So that's what we should not forget. So I hope that today you hold on to the covenant and also remember that we need to have this summit time and also the spiritual summit. That means that we will not be affected by the environments because you have this inner strength that it keeps you always with this assurance that God is leading you and God is providing everything good or bad you think it is. So I hope that today you hold on to the word and receive and enjoy the blessings inside the God, the gospel. Let's pray. Dear God, 
May I save the summits of this world as a witness of the spiritual summit, skill summit, and cultural summit. Let us not forget that you have called us and before that you have prepared all the blessings beforehand so we can enjoy while we walk this covenant journey. Let us have the faith of our remnants and also let us pass to our posterity the blessings that you have given to us. Let us not forget that your absolute sovereignty is the only thing that matters. Thank you, Lord. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.